Diabetes, otherwise locally called a sugar, is a condition in which the body is not able to process what we call macronutrients. One of the major ones are, is your carbohydrate molecules because of the lack of or ineffectiveness of the insulin that the body normally makes. So insulin is a chemical that controls the level of blood sugar in your body. So an individual with diabetes um, may have a lot of problems related to nutrition just because of, as I said before, they don't have the right or hormones working properly. So typically for somebody with, with diabetes, some of the risk factors that will contribute to that would include uh, things being overweight, smoking, those are some of them what we call uh, modifiable risk factors that um, somebody may have. You may also have some family history of diabetes as well, but that you don't really choose your family, so that's not really modifiable. So having said that, let us assume that you have diabetes. Typically, some in the past, we used to classify people as insulin requiring as well as those who will require medication. Irrespective of the type that you have, um, there are certain strategies from a nutrition perspective that you can employ. So one strategy, as with hypertension, is to try to achieve ideal body weight for your height. Uh, a measure that we sometimes use to, to calculate that is really something that is called your body mass index or your BMI. Your body mass index is your weight in kilogram divided by your height in meters squared. And that number is often used as a measure of how fat you are. So typically, if your BMI is less than 25, between 20 and 25, you're in your ideal weight range for your height. And so we would wish for people to be in that BMI range. Outside of that, now, you would then look at uh, what are the, the regular sets of dietary recommendations. There's a miss. Uh, there's a misperception there that people with diabetes should not eat carbohydrate um, or they shouldn't eat rice or which is another form of carbohydrate and so on. The truth be told is that all persons, irrespective of your disease condition, need all your macronutrients. And what do we mean by that? We mean that they need carbohydrate, they need fats, and they need protein. Where the distinction arises for someone with diabetes is that it is easier for the body um, and hence your blood sugar control. If it is that once it is that you're consuming your carbohydrate, you consume it from what we call complex carbohydrates. And all we're saying, the easiest way to know if something is complex um, is really if you taste it and it's not sweet, chances are it's a fairly complex because simple sugars are usually sweet to taste. So the, the thinking here is that you, you need foods from all of these, so you need a balanced diet. Um, but ideally, for the starch components, you will take your choices of starch from more complex products such as your yam, your breadfruit, your green bananas and so on, Irish potatoes and so on. Those food stuff um, releases the sugar in a more gradual manner compared to a food stuff like, for example, a slice of cake or something like that where it's relatively sweet and therefore it releases large amounts of sugar very quickly.